All right, guys, so today's Terra Luna Classic is on fire. And what I mean by on fire here is we are ripping. We see in pumps right now here on Terra Luna Classic. We finally on that uptrend, as I've been saying on my channel here, guys. We're seeing those higher highs, higher lows going on here on Terra Luna Classic. Now, we're seeing a retest of that previous breakout we've seen here, of that previous high. And as usual, guys, on a uptrend, usually we see those retests of previous highs before we see continuation to the upside. And this is what's happening here with Terra Luna Classic. And not only that, as I said, Terra Luna Classic is officially guys on fire so we have here on coin market cap trending cryptocurrencies on a coin market cap which is one of the biggest largest database on the crypto space and here guys we have Terra Luna classic ranking second on the most trending cryptocurrency and USTC is ranking third now guys this is really really bullish here for Terra Luna classic and as well guys we got some Binance cooking ongoing here now if you've missed my previous Terra Luna classic video we've we've been looking at a few days ago Binance listed USTC futures where I mean by futures derivative contracts where now people can 50x long send it to the moon back to that one dollar now what it means is we see Binance listing on that futures exchange and that came off the back of people being bearish on the news that that CZ from Binance is leaving and that we are not gonna see any more burns on Terra Luna Classic but then that listing shows more commitment from Binance and it shows that we are gonna probably keep burning as many Terra Luna Classic as possible, which we are gonna get into as well here in this video. And as well here, we are having some news today related to that that we have seen in that previous video where I told you guys Binance is into something here with USTC pumping, with Terra Luna Classic pumping. Now, Binance today is introducing a new stable coin. Now, this stable coin is FDUSD, which means first digital USD, but there is not much data on that coin yet. But anyways, here we can see that they have new listings with that stable coin we have blur fdusd dydx try and we have super fdusd and we have USTC as well guys traded with that stable coin and we have as well USTC traded with try on spot trading pairs now usually when this happens guys there is something cooking on binance right now binance is throwing in those spices throwing in some of that binance magic and as i said guys it wouldn't surprise me that they are the ones behind that USTC pump and we wouldn't hide the fact that it would be super beneficial to Binance here to repack that USTC bring it back to one dollar because right now USTC is that orphan that stable coin that is not any more stable that that unstable orphan and it is up for adoption somebody could take it and Binance would be really happy with taking that USTC as right now Binance is under heavy scrutiny and heavy regulation and also the US regulators would find it pretty much easy to regulate USDC as USDC as we said is that orphaned and stable orphaned here in the crypto space and it's pretty much easy to control that stable coin compared to let's say Tether USDT which is that rebel child that nobody really can get in touch with that is pretty much hard to the US regulators to really regulate that USDT and we've seen them recently printing billions of USDT out of thin air guys printing a lot of USDT spiking the market spiking Bitcoin so there is a lot going on here in the crypto space it's pretty much hard to really pinpoint or really guess what's going on but here some things are pretty much clear we can see Binance is suddenly interested in USDC and we are suddenly seeing a spike on USDC guys a spike of almost six X 600% now 600% but since then now it's getting rejected from that VWAP here guys that VWAP playing its magic as well locking the price now below that VWAP but nonetheless guys we're still seeing the strength on USDC and Luna 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 our 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 orphaned blockchain as well here guys Luna is breaking out guys Luna is just going on that Reaper and I told you guys now if you remember this this downtrend gonna stay here till we hit that one dollar and Terra Luna class guys now we can see here we just broke a ball of that downtrend and I told you guys this downtrend here has been for a year going on and we broke above it right now guys this this is not the moment to be bearish on Terra Luna classic guys we do not break above a one year downtrend to just go for a quick pump and dump right so this is gonna take a while guys this is gonna be for a while now going on especially with Binance here I don't know what Binance is up to but it's gonna be taking a while here before Terra Luna classic haters get some rest but for now guys it looks like we're getting that true breakout what I mean the 
guys is a true breakout is we see a leg up down then another leg up there is no real heavy retracement for those that missed the tips now guys as well this rally is fueled by a lot of things as we know but the major things that are fueling this run are two things one is the burns guys now the higher the price goes up the more the traded volume happens on terra luna classic the more people buy and sell terra luna classic that's that helps burn terra luna classic tokens so we reduce the supply this means the price goes up now the second thing is fomo now we know guys here recently we've seen fomo is the new deal here in crypto in, in the crypto space now since a lot of people have been sidelined since we've seen bitcoin rallying this year just going up waiting for no one just going up and up and up a lot of people have been sidelined a lot of people missed a lot of cryptocurrencies a lot of people missed a lot of dips missed a lot of trains and now fomo is the devil here and what i mean by fomo is we all know what's the narrative behind terra luna classic the narrative is terra luna classic gonna go to one dollar now it's trending on major places here major social media platforms as well it's trending on twitter trending on coin market cap and recently as well it made it to the top five most searched coins on kucoin so this means guys a lot of people are going to be searching and we all know the first thing that when you search terra luna classic you see is terra luna classic going to one dollar terra luna classic going to one dollar everyone is talking about terra luna classic going to one dollar so this means guys as soon as we get any dips guys people will be like oh my god i don't want to miss this pump even if if that idea of one dollar happening sounds crazy but if it happens i don't want to miss it and it's the cost of entry here is still pretty cheap to buy let's say to buy 1 million terra luna classic tokens it probably costs around 200 dollars right or less to buy 1 million terra luna classic token so the entry fee for that ticket the ticket to 1 million dollar if terra luna classic make it to 1 million is around 200 dollars right now so to a lot of people this is still cheap fomo is gonna kick in with those rallies with this waves ups and downs ups and downs right now here guys fomo in the burning it's what's gonna cause the price to even rally further and further now when it comes to if terra luna classic gonna go to one now to get Terra Luna Classic to that price we really need big big institutions big individuals behind Terra Luna Classic. Terra Luna Classic needs some heavy attention right now so if Binance if what I'm thinking is happening here with Binance is Binance interested on that USTC and if the US regulators are as well interested in on that USTC stable coin and recently seen BlackRock as well talking about USDT being a threat to Bitcoin USDT I mean Tether is being a threat to bitcoin so we could say that there is a lack of a stable coin in the market right now now granted usdc is that unstable orphan but it's still here guys so this could be a possibility if this happens that pretty much could set the road here for terra luna classic to reach that one dollar or even higher if this happens guys we're talking terra luna classic is coming back to its former glory it's we're talking now that terra luna classic lunc gonna be used as a reserve or as a backing to stay to keep that usd USDC stable, keep it back to that one dollar. People staking Terra Luna Classic to earn some USDC, and the more they, the, the more people stake, price get, goes higher, which helps keeps that USDC stable. And it's we are back to that upward spiral, to that positive spiral where the chain is back working again, functioning, and everything is fine. And this means basically, guys, we're back. We're back, and we could even see way higher prices. And that means as well, a lot of Terra Luna Classic tokens that I get need to be burnt. That's why we need a big capital we need somebody or some institutions to buy as many terra luna classic while it's cheap right now and burn the shit out of it. and then we're gonna send it to one dollar now the point here as i said guys is it going to one dollar or not now this whole investing thing guys this whole investing thing is a probability we're just gambling here it's just gambling and by the way this is not financial advice at all this is my humble opinion now this is we are gambling now the ticket to entry to if this thing hits one dollar guys if this thing hits one dollar right now it's around two hundred dollars to get in right so right now it's two hundred dollars to get in for a chance to win one million dollars and the higher the price goes the higher the entry fee goes right so if we are wrong we lose two hundred dollars if we are right we make one million dollars that's it that's this simple guys that's that's not even that complicated right so the risk reward ratio is very 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 interesting to not say it's pretty good so that is the point here guys 
guys. It, is it gonna hit one dollar or not? We don't know. We hope, but the entry price is two hundred dollars. That's it. That's what's going on here, guys. Now, in my humble opinion, right now it's too early to really think, to really guess, because we are still early on that bull market. And the bull market, when the bull market comes, guys, it brings a shitload of a large amount of rich, super rich individuals or super rich individuals, guys. Just remember the previous bull market. We got Tom Brady, we got Mark Cuban, we got a lot of, lot of those Instagram rich that don't know about crypto joining cryptocurrencies. When those people gotta get in, that's when the big, big money is gonna jump into the market. When Instagram rich guys gonna jump in onto cryptocurrency, when we're gonna see now cryptocurrency in everyone's bio, and that's when we're gonna see those huge, huge amount of liquidity entering the market. And then we can guess, guys, because right now, as I said, right now it's too early to guess. And the bull market brings that FOMO that everything could happen, guys. Anything could happen in the bull market. Nothing surprises me anymore in this in this crypto space. Like Dogecoin, the, the previous bull market, nobody could have guessed that Dogecoin would be that meme coin that would make shitload of people rich. Nobody could have guessed that, but then we got Elon Musk tweeting about it. So that's the craziness that comes with bull market. And everything is possible, guys, once we get the bull market. Right now, we're just a bunch of DGNs talking about coins that nobody knows. And once we're gonna get the, the real true bull market, then we are gonna see some crazy shit happening, guys. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up here. That's my humble opinion. As usual, nothing is financial advice. And for those that are trading derivatives, if you're looking for an exchange where you don't need no KYC, no VPN, if you live in the US, UK, Australia, you can use Fairdesk. You get up to $35,000 bonus on your deposit, as well as you can trade most of the altcoins here, guys. Now, I'll leave you the link in the description for those that are interested. And again, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.